My name is David Ormanner, and this is a beginner Reason 3.0 tutorial for the Reason Lesson 1 posted on my blog, which will go over the basic Reason interface and adding devices to your rack. So when you first open Reason, you'll see the default layout, which is just the Reason hardware interface. If you happen to see any other instruments in this empty rack space here, make sure if you go to Reason and then scroll down to where it says Preferences, Make sure that you have empty rack chosen, and then the next time you open Reason, we'll all be starting from the same blank template. Um, so for now, I'm just going to minimize this window, because we won't be needing that for this lesson here. Um, the first device we need to add for this project is going to be the mixer. So to do that, we go up to Create, scroll down to Mixer 14.2 and it places it right underneath the hardware interface. The second device we need to add is the Redrum drum computer. So go back to create, scroll down to where it says Redrum drum computer, and we click on that, it puts it right underneath the mixer. Now, if you press the tab key on your keyboard, it brings us to the back of the devices, including the ones we just added. Now, Reason does a great job of emulating the real-world physical recording devices. Actually, every device that Reason offers here is based on a real recording device. And once you get deeper into Reason, you can actually customize all your connections to fit your recording needs. Um, with that said, what we're going to do now is customize our Redrum 1 uh, track connections. You see here we have 10 different channels or re uh, Redrum tracks and what we want to do is dedicate each track to a separate mixing channel so we'll have greater control over uh, the mixing once we get to that stage of the project. So in order to do that we want to move the cable from the mixer that goes to the left and right of the redrum. Here we want to move that to channel 1 of the redrum drum computer. And what we're going to do is now do that for every track and channel. So we start with the top mixing channel. Little reason trick, if you start with the top, reason will automatically assume you want to connect both, as opposed to if I started with the bottom and then reason doesn't know for some reason, you have to connect, then go back and connect the top. Um, as you can see here, the top one is the left and the bottom one is the right. So what I do is I just start, start with the left, which is the top, and I connect all of them it's kind of fun to do. And finally, the last one. So we have 10 of them connected in their own dedicated, dedicated channel. Um, the next instrument that we need to add is going to be the NNXT Advanced Sampler, which we're going to use for our bass tracks in the, in the next lesson. So go back to Create, and then scroll down to where it says NNXT Advanced Sampler. And it places it right in between the mixer and the redrum drum computer. Um, for this lesson, the only thing left we need to do is save our work. So just go up to where it says File, scroll down to Save. I'm going to scroll, move it here so you can see it. And I'm just going to name it Reason Lesson 1. I'm going to save it. And that way, we'll have our work saved and ready to go for our next Reason lesson, which I hope you stay with me as we get deeper into Reason.